So, um, you want to make a uh, party monitor like I have for our filming, right? First, you want to go into Microsoft PowerPoint. Just create a new one. Then we'll do it. There we go, right? La da da da. Right. So, oh, no, sorry. Right, yeah, sorry. Well, uh, well I'm going to show you of how I made my entire screen saver. Right. Anyway, yes. This is your starting point of making our screen saver. Yes. <coughs> anyway, what I did previously, well, well, to be able to get the side bit, I had to edit that photo of the circuit board, but then cut out some shape. We've got the screen there, which is. Where is it? So, so, so yes, here it is. This, this is what I pre-made. So that just fits along there. Like that. And what you can do, you can sort of go down and crop it. So it just gets up to there. So like that. Right? So you've got a blank bit there for your animations. Which I didn't. Um, so, if I want to import some GIFs. Yeah. This is pre made. I uh, animated this. Especially to go on here. So, so it looks. Because uh, as you probably seen in our videos, that that we have a um, circuit board theme, and so I thought, why don't we do a, a circuit board um, monitor, which I started to design, which carried on to do. And now, if we go and insert the matrix, which is this matrix, okay, get that, just like that, resize it. And then send to back. So it should be like that. So look, like that's in. Cool. So if I go into video, my videos. And again, sorry, I got lots of videos because I do. So go to vortex. And then go to vortex one. Like that, and, and there's your video. Now we need to fit it into there and make it look like that is a part of it. So we need to go into the shape, put it into round. Or you can have it in any other shape, like an arrow or a another circle. <gasps> oh th yes. It's beaming out. So that, that is made a crack in the monitor. So it's basically a bit like that. Now if I just move it there. Like that. So now we want to insert the big main screen there which shows you where your current location is. So so what you can do is that you can uh, go into here and then then again insert another video from which you probably got from YouTube or you probably got it by yourself don't know. Uh, so let's say you're flying through clouds so you get the big picture like that then what, what would be better is that if you went into playback and then film video you'll be able to get that fading black out so that moment looks like this like that and we don't really want the fading out because that so So if you get to the point where you want to cut it, like there, so you get that there, and then, so 
we just trim it to there. Then, then what? Then after that, we, I can loop it. And then automatically. Also, remember to do this one as well. Loop. Like that. And, that, and, that, and now do the same that what you did to the vortex, but instead do it as round. I don't want to make it too big. Big. Um. Yeah, oops. Okay, and then you want to make that. Okay, and then <coughs> put it in front. That should all so like that. So <gasps> it's gone. So it looks like that is actually embedded in the monitor. So now you've got that to make it even more realistic. Probably soften the end edges. Let's do it about 25. There you go. Looks more misty. And then you want to wanna make it bigger like that. Now, now we need to. Edit the animation so that I think runs all smoothly, and that runs the previous. Starts on the previous. Starts with previous. Yes. I also forgot you got to mute the video if it, if it has sound which you don't want. Basically, yes. You go in the format, uh, playback, and then you just go to volume, mute. There you go. And now it should be all muted. Now this is for the advanced viewers now. You can add sound. So you insert an audio. Then you choose the sound you want in my music files. Right? Then you scroll down to any music you want to well you know which one is uh this hum. There we go. Just up, up importing the media. Phew, I, I thought it wasn't responding for a minute. I thought I had to do this video all over again. Anyway, that one. Is it up? Yes, sorry. Yes. Anyway, yes. So you want uh, automatically looped. And then back to animation, animation pane. And then with previous and that should be done completed we have it just like that but also you might want the TARDIS in flight sound so <laughs> so if I then import TARDIS I don't flight being slow no. Yeah, in flight sound. Move it across there because you don't because you don't really want to see it. So um move that there. Start with previous. And then that should be finished. And there you have it. A step by step guide of making our TARDIS monitor. Well, well, that is the basics, but if you want to make your own, then go ahead. But you can use this guide to help you uh, changing all the shapes, um, uh, making animations and all that stuff, which is which can, can come useful when, when you're making your own. So, uh, yes, you can. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Whenever that. See you in our next video.